As much as calligraphy has changed over the centuries, there has always been one constant. The characters are a way for the artist to connect with others. The renowned calligrapher Dennis Brown carries on this tradition while combining ancient and contemporary methods in his work. It may seem like all a calligrapher needs are a pen and a brush. But there's more to it than just good-looking designs. As a Chinese poet once said, calligraphy must have spirit, energy, bone, flesh and blood. If one of these five is missing, it cannot be considered calligraphy. The earliest practices of the art of the line date back to cave paintings. Although it developed in many parts of the Eastern and Western worlds, it's almost inseparable from Islam and Arabic. The religion, the language and calligraphy evolved alongside one another. Today, it's taking on new forms like calligraffiti. As the art form continues to reshape itself, Calligraphers like Dennis Brown work to ensure the traditions are not forgotten. And now renowned calligrapher Dennis Brown is here with me in the studio. Hello and thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, tell us what brings you to Istanbul. Well, I'm here at the invitation of a new, very new and local calligraphy group. Uh, they call themselves Murekep. Sopet Leri. They've been training me to say their name, so I hope I haven't done, that was a very good done it too it badly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm teaching workshops. Um, I'm lucky to be invited to many parts of the world, and uh, this is my way of communicating the art of calligraphy and my way of doing calligraphy to a broader audience. How does a typical calligraphy class go? Right, well, go? I have a wide range from traditional to experimental, and here, the, ex the experienced students wanted me to give them a master class based on their works, and tomorrow we start with their students who are less experienced. So we'll start with an italic alphabet, and uh, we'll be talking about rhythm and flow within that style. Right. Well, how did your journey with calligraphy begin? Well, it started for me when I was a schoolboy, aged about 13. Uh, the teacher introduced some lettering with a special pen with a broad-edged nib, and I thought, that's fantastic. You can make a whole letter, almost like typography, just with a couple of strokes of the pen. And uh, I got hooked, and he helped me, and I've never looked back. Well, calligraphy could have become extinct uh, 600 years ago when printing was invented, and now yep. there's a whole other danger of technology. Uh, yep. Do you think it will survive, or the why do you think it's dead. still so popular? Long live the king. Uh, that's the famous saying. So every stage, yeah, you're right, 500, 600 years ago almost, the first printing, uh, then um, the calligraphy changed, and that's when it started going into the classroom, and even kings and queens wanted to learn how to improve their handwriting. And now more than ever that we're all on these digital screens all the time, um, to actually introduce the sensuality of touch in handwriting is something which is appealing and which takes people away from their screens. But then that technology is also where it's making calligraphy more popular than ever with Instagram, Facebook, people posting, sharing, self-publishing their works, websites. Um, all of these things are the new tools for the modern calligrapher. They certainly are. Um, traditional art forms like calligraphy, how do you believe they should proceed in modern times? Should we stick to the old rules or should we adapt and change with the times? Yes and yes. Yeah. Yes so and we yes. have to have people who are interested and passionate about the past and people who are historians and people who are interested in carrying those traditions into the present and people who are looking at futuristic things. And uh, luckily we have all of those and anyone can choose what they like, whether it's looking at the old manuscripts and, uh, in the museums or whether it's uh, being inspired by those manuscripts maybe to spray something on the wall. Well, don't tell. But uh, graffiti <laughs> is one of the aspects that's a dynamic uh, thing which uh, c calligraphy can inspire and many uh, graffiti artists are doing work which, you c which they actually call calligraffiti. So it's a hybrid. So this is one direction uh, into uh, you know, street art. 
Definitely. Any any names or a actually uh, portraits that you've seen on walls or somewhere that you've really liked recently? Um, well, when I was teaching in Miami, it was right in the Wyndham district, and uh, the uh, there's every wall is covered with not just calligraphy styles, but portraits and things. So. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not too hip with all the names of the, the uh, graffiti guys, but uh, it's very impressive. Well, Dennis Brown, thank you very much for joining us on Showcase. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me.